My love goes deeper, deeper, deeper. So the album's called Right Back at You. It's sort of a way of saying, I'm coming back. I'm coming back from the heavy duty heartache of soul changes and where I'm coming from, the two previous records. And this is my over the hump record. This is, all right, I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna enjoy life and love and, and uh, back in it, right back at you. You say I'm sexy. Well, let me tell you. So I guess I see my music as sort of somewhere where the soul music influences come together with my blues influences, and then with a real strong emphasis on songwriting. But also trying to write songs, especially for this album, I've really worked on writing songs that are going to make you want to sing along with them. That by the time the chorus comes around the second time, it's in your head and you want to sing along. Forever Summer was almost a completely lost tune. I just put it in a pile of papers and forgot about it and discovered it like when I went to get songs together for the record. So let's go running through the fields tonight While the moon is shining bright I gotta hold you tight forever You can tell me stories from when you were young Girl, the summer's just begun So with 2 AM Talks, that was the newest song in the record. And the guys hadn't really played that one out at all. I think we played it out on New Year's Eve, you know, maybe a week or two before we recorded. Save this love we've got. Save this love we've got. It's gonna take a whole lot of these 2 AM Talks. These 2 AM Talks. Yeah, one thing I'm really proud about with this record is it's my band on the record. Brett Hoffman on drums, Ira Friedman on keys, Gary Lotspeech on bass. Uh, these are my guys. We've been working together for about 10 years and I think it really shows. You can really hear it in the music. Uh, you can feel the intensity of it. You can feel how, how well they know me and uh, how well I know them. I mean, we all, we're like a family at this point. And it just feels really good to be able to record my guys. Living with a love that's all Uh, for a horn section, this is actually funny. We've got three saxophones. I don't know too many records that just have three saxophones but no trumpets or trombones or anything. I love the beginning uh, part where the horns come in on Slow Train, just like the little intro. It reminds me of something off of like an old Stax record, you know, a Sam and Dave or Otis Redding or something like that with the Memphis horns. So Deeper Than the Eye Can See, that was written with Daryl Carter. I put the music to it, and I was, I was really excited about the way we produced that. In fact, when we were listening to that tune, listening to the playback, Lane and I in the studio, the engineer, as soon as it was over, both of us just looked at each other, and he put it out his arm like this, and like, whoa, and it gave him shivers, and I was feeling the same thing. Oh, my love goes deeper, deeper, deeper. deeper. I think it, in many ways Circles was the high point of the recording process for us, uh, for the band. And in the moment of recording it, we were all really, really feeling it pretty intensely. So this album's funded by 
you know, my current fans, people who, you know, have heard my music, come out and dance to me and, you know, listen to my records and appreciate what I do. And I thank those people because now I can put it out and maybe even more people will get to hear uh, the new songs and uh, spread it around a little bit. It's for all y'all. Thank you.